All right, do you buy it? You started out like like a like a this little guy over here. Your neural tube expanded and thickened in certain places to turn into this guy right here. And then, oh, that's what happened. Really? <laughs> that is fantastic. You can see that clearly we had holy mitosis going on. And in the next set of sections in this lecture, we're going to look at, okay, what did the teal encephalon, what was the ultimate fate of the teal encephalon? Before, what was the ultimate fate of the metencephalon? Like what did all these things ultimately become in the adult brain? But before we do that, I just kind of want to give you an overview of the brain just so we're all kind of on the same page. This is what we would see if we, like, looked at somebody's brain, like grab it and pull it out of their head. This is what we'd see. And this whole super folded, wormy-looking structure, this whole thing is your cerebrum. And the cerebrum has many structures that are inside it. And of course, as is typical in anatomy, we're going to break the cerebrum down into parts that we are going to name. The cerebrum, the um, ridges in the cerebrum, look, this is a ridge, and holy ridge, like there's bajillions of them. The ridges are called, okay, I'm going to do it in singular version first. One ridge in the cerebrum is called a gyrus. So multiple ridges are gyri. <laughs> and then if the ridges have names, don't the dips have to have names too? The here's a dip, like these little canals, these little what? They're dips, they're divots, they're, yeah. Those things are called, one of those things is called a sulcus. And that is my dip. <laughs> I'm sure there's a better, a much better word for it than dip, but you get the idea. I'm going to stop trying to think of words. Do you think that's possible? And so if we have many of them, they're sulci or sulci. So gyrus, ridges, sulci, sulcus, dip. And then you can see there's like billions of them. And we're going to name some of them. Some of them are going to be required structures. In addition to being able to see your cerebrum as a whole, there are a couple more places that are really obvious. This guy, this like kind of big blobby structure that almost looks separate from the rest of the brain, this is the cerebellum. And it's a really obvious buddy, buddy boy. This is considered your brain stem. And this is actually your spinal cord. And so you, that's kind of an overview. Now, we're going to dive into the structures that arise from the teal encephalon first. And those structures are um, the cerebrum. Okay, let's go do that. 